It is day five at the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. We're in the final day 
of the group stages and ASPAC are taking on Interclub ASPAC coming into this one 0-3 having lost to every other team in the group while Interclub come in with just one loss to the Rwanda Energy Group. For Interclub it's Mukuro who leads the way she leads the team in points, assists and steals with 13.7 points, 7 assists and 4.7 steals per game and She's well supported by Matikit, who averages a 13-point, 13-rebound, double-double. On the end of ASPAC, it's Sobabe, who averages 18.7 points a game, along with five rebounds, three assists, and a steal. Joseph, the only other player for ASPAC who averages double digits, she's at 12 points a game, along with 4.3 rebounds and 3.2 assists. We are getting underway here. The tip falls to Lucas. They go inside instantly. Pass almost thrown away. Lucas manages to recover it, puts up the shot. She hits back iron. Now on the inside. Great take. Manuel gets it to go. Quickly the other end. Shot goes up. That's no good. Into club in the hands of Lucas. Pass back to the outside. Long range jumper doesn't fall for Silva. Last touch coming off ASPAC. And so it'll remain with Inter club. We've seen some fantastic games throughout the competition as Matikit misses that one. A is PAC now in the hands of Subabe. Out to the corner. Drive inside, Joseph puts up the jumper, it's short. Interclub, clean it up. Driving inside, tough take. Now at the top of the key, Lucas tries to pass it inside, it's taken away, Joseph getting into the lane. Ball to the corner. Diara on the inside, turn around, jumper, that's no good. ASPAC rely heavily on Diara's offense and presence in the post on the offensive end. She leads the team in rebounding. Matiket made the pass and Manuel gets to the rack. The foul's called on the floor. And so it'll be a baseline inbound. Lucas finds Silva. Silva looks to drive. Silva drops off the pass, and the finish is not there for Mukuro. And the ball will head back the other way. It was a great setup there by Silva, just exploiting the baseline and finding the perfectly placed Makura. She just couldn't make the layup. So, Babe. Lots of movement in the offense here for A's PAC. Now, top of the key, So, Babe gives up long range jumper. Nata couldn't connect. Diara right there though. On the second chance, Diara couldn't get it to go. Now Lucas pushing it down the floor for Interclub. They go inside. Strong take. Matiket dominating in the paint. Sobabe. Into a naibe. Onaibe drives right through the middle, finds Diara. Mid-range jumper for Diara, won't fall. 
Manuel rebound and quickly the other way in transition. Mukuro gets two more for Interclub. Unaibe. Unaibe looking to attack Silva. In the hands of Sobabe now. Into the pick and roll with Diara. Tries to find Diara on the roll. But Silva's right there. And again, another transition bucket. This time, it's Matikit who finishes. And they force the timeout. ASPAC want to talk it over. It's been an 8-0 run here to begin the game for Interclub. ASPAC yet to get on the board. It'll be ASPAC ball coming out the timeout. Onaibe going against Silva. Joseph has it now. She's double teamed Interclub. Picking up the defensive intensity, but it does make them pick up the foul as well. It goes against Manuel, it'll be her first personal. Haven't been many whistles, just two fouls the way of Interclub. And one in the way of ASPAC. Top of the key, Sobabe has it. Kicks it out to Joseph. Baseline drive from Joseph now. The pass back to Sobabe. Picked off. And now here come Inter in transition. Silva. Looking to drive inside. Kicks it. Fantastic find off the baseline drive. And Matikit this time makes sure. Some good ball movement from Interclub on that position. Matikit. She's been a 90% free throw shooter as she knocks that one down. Joseph. Passes the ball over the top and there's confusion there. Nobody gets to it. It'll be a turnover. Turnover number four for ASPAC. Silva. Harassed by Onyabe. Lucas. Passes the perimeter and out the drive. Mikuro dumps it inside. And Matike couldn't finish, but she heads right back to the line. And with these free throws, she's already matched the, her average free throw take per game. Makes this one. A fantastic free throw shooter is Matikit. Goes a perfect two of two. Press break for ASPAC. Helps him get it down the floor. From the top of the key, Sobabe couldn't get it to go. Oh. 
Referee says last touch came off ASPAC and so the ball will head back the way of Inter. Halfway through the first quarter we are. 13-0 going the way of Inter Club. Lucas dumps it inside. Kick out. Lucas gets it back wide open on the three. Can't knock it down. Rebound stays and the power up missed. Manuel couldn't get it to go. Manuel steals it back. Manuel did get tied up with Keita there. And Keita will be whistled for the foul. That'll be her second personal. Lucas on the inbound. Finds Matike top of the key. Lucas, stunning pass inside. Oh, and Manuel with the tough finish draws the foul and one. First free throw for Manuel. She's a 67% free throw shooter. And now Osani checks into the game for ASPAC as Nata heads to the bench. On the other end, it's Johnson who checks in for Interclub. And Silva who takes a seat. Manuel gets it to go. Onaibe. Cross court pass. Joseph looking to drive. Joseph fouled on the dribble. It'll be a sideline ball for his PAC. Another substitution here. Manuel will head to the bench as Godbold takes her time in the game. Onaibe misses the jumper. Diara on the follow. Oh, the ball rolling in in dramatic fashion for the first bucket of the game for A's PAC. Steal on the other end. No, not a steal. Getting tangled up, but it stays with Inter. Long range jumper. Doesn't fall for Makuro. And now, Onaibe takes it all the way to the rim, goes around the defense, couldn't finish. Johnson passes it up the floor for Inter. Matikit. Lucas and Matikit in the pick and roll now. Behind the back pass by Lucas. Now Johnson drives baseline. Tries to find Godbold on the inside. Couldn't get it there. Joseph comes up with the steal now in transition. Joseph finds Diara down low. A is PAC starting to get going here. All four points off the hands of Diara. Mikuro drives inside, dumps it in. Matiket makes the two. Good vision there for Mikuro. Unaibe top of the key. Ball moving around the perimeter. Diara finds the cutter, and that'll be a travel violation going against Oseni. Just one too many steps. Matiket heads to the bench for her first rest. And Pasco gets some game time. Pasco, her first touch. There's a foul away from the ball called by the baseline referee.
and A is PAC now over the foul limit. That's the sixth team foul. And so Jessica Malagi will be at the line. First free throw drops for Malagi. Oh, second just rattles in and out. Rebound strongly taken by ASPAC. Onaibe. With the pass to Joseph. Joseph driving baseline, loses her handle. It stays, however, ASPAC as Abel gets blocked, but Abel stays with it. Get the end one. Abel with a first touch on offense, a fantastic first touch on offense. Relentless. And she's rewarded with a free throw. Abel misses on the free throw. It's Malagi who gets it. Joseph moving it quickly down the floor. And on the cut, Godbolt couldn't finish off the Malagi pass. Joseph's now from three point range. That's short. Rebound, Oseni. Sobabe. Now in the hands of Onaibe, she gets the pick. Onaibe uses the screen. It will, however, be called an offensive foul. Just some movement still. And so possession heads back the way of Interclub turnover. Number seven for A is PAC. It's Johnson. Top of the key, Malagi. Cross court pass leads to a three point shot. Pasco knocks it down. It was Lusati, in fact, not Pasco. Joseph. Handoff to Anaibe now on the inside. Working. Abel double teamed. Draws the foul. It'll be the 15th foul for Interclub, and so Abel will head back to the free throw line. Abel misses another free throw. She gets the second to go. She's one of three from Charity Stripe. Johnson pushing the ball down the floor. Found Godbolt underneath the rim and Godbolt tried to kick it out. Results in a turnover. The fifth for Interclub. Onaibe gets by Johnson. Onaibe puts up the floater and it's good. First points for Onaibe in the game. Just under a minute to go as Johnson drives to the bucket. That won't go. And the tussle for the rebound. It ends up in the hands of ASPAC. Now they come out in transition. Goes up. But it will not count. Referee says ball back the way of Interclub. It'll be Lusati to inbound for Inter.
Ball inbounded into Johnson. Johnson kicks to the corner. Pascal. Now they go inside. God bold. God bold. Powers up. Draws the foul and one. Oh, no, no foul called there. Referee didn't call the contact. Onaibe. Now as PAC go inside once again. Abel turns it over. Johnson now out in transition. Clock winding down. Johnson puts up the jumper. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. After 10 minutes of play, it's Interclub who lead 24 to 9. It was a dominant first quarter performance from Interclub and now they come into the second with a 15 point lead, 24 to 9. First possession goes the way of ASPAC. Ali finds Sobabe. Sobabe now looks to drive inside. Sobabe, spin move. Lots of defense. She's surrounded by white jerseys and they come up with the stop. Joseph turns it over, however. And now Abel will get the bucket. Johnson. Bringing up the ball for Interclub. Into the hands of Pascal. Pascal, left wide open, pulls up the three, rattles in and out. On the follow, Malagi couldn't get it to go. Now Onaibe puts it into the hands of Abel. Ali gets the pick, gives it to the roller, and Oseni finishes. Great execution of the pick and roll there between Osane and Ali. Malagi driving baseline, drops off the pass. Godbold's jumper won't go. It'll be Onaibe who brings it the other way for ASPAC. Onaibe attacking the middle. Tries to make the pass to Oseni. Oseni not quite ready to catch it. And so the turnover counts for ASPAC. And now Mateus checks into the game as Malagi hits the bench. Johnson. Finds Mateus. 
Drive on the inside, kick out. Lusati will pull up for the long shot. That won't go. It was a good take from Lusati. Just rattling in and out. And the ball will head the way of ASPAC. Ball in the hands of Anaibe. Onaibe takes it all the way, gets it blocked. Guard bold, sends her back. Great defensive effort there by God bold. Onaibe is very crafty in the paint. Gets to the rim well. Johnson. Dribble handoff. Now at the top of the key with Mateis. Mateis pulls up just inside the three-point line. Hits back iron. Rebound into the hands of Abel. So Babe drives inside. Dumps it down. Shot won't go for Seni. Into club, securing the possession. Johnson, hesitation. Tries to drive to the room. It's taken away by Ali. Here come is PAC in transition. Finding the trailer. Extra pass. Mid-range jumper won't fall for Ali. And on the follow. Great effort there to try and get a second chance for A's PAC. As Abel draws the foul and heads to the line. Just relentless. On the boards is Abel. First free throw comes off the front of the rim. Hasn't been a great free throw shooter, Abel, as she misses both on that try round, just 40%. Long pass in transition. Now out to Silva. Silva finds Makuro. Her three won't go. Rebound, Sobabe. Moving quickly down the floor, ASPAC. Pass to the inside, taken away. It was Gabriel who picked that one off. Drive from the corner. Now the kick. Mid-range jumper won't go for Gabriel. It stays and some fantastic patience. Mateus gets the and one. Great job by Mateus to send the defender flying by on the fake. And the free throw is good. Three-point play for Mateis. Ali. Top of the key in the hands of Onaibe. It'll be Joseph now. It's a 2-3 zone from Interclub. So Babe. Gives it up and Joseph will put up the three with the shot clock winding down. Won't go. Follows, gets her own rebound. Second chance and it's blocked. Mikuro. With some good defense. Referee says last touch off ASPAC. And so Interclub have it in the hands of Silva. Gabriel, top of the key. Finds Silva. Into the pick and roll go Gabriel and Silva. Silva now. Dumps it to Gabriel inside and on the reverse. Goldbold misses. Coach Alyssa Pierce is not impressed with that last play. 
Onaibe. Setting up the offense. Onaibe will pull it up from three. Can't get it to go. And now Inter come quickly in transition, but the pass way overcooked. And so it'll be a turnover for Inter. Inter, a team that turns it over around 17 times per game. They have seven already here. Onaibe finds Keita. Now to the corner. Joseph kicks back to Onaibe. Shot clock winding down. Onaibe threads the pass inside. Nata gives it back. And the shot hits back iron for Onaibe. Now the other way, wide open, but Mateis couldn't knock it down. Oh, on the second chance, Matikit couldn't get it to go. It'll be ASPAC ball. Joseph. Finds Onaibe. Keita with it. Keita driving inside. Takes contact. Kicks the pass out. Ali with a wide open shot. Ali can't knock it down. Rebound secured by Gabriel. Silva brings it up the floor. Oh, and finding the trailer, Gabriel gets the two. Nata gives it up inside to Joseph. Joseph with some fancy feet, but she's blocked. Transition the other way. Gabriel finds the trailer. Mikuro gets another bucket. And now we have a timeout. At the timeout, it'll be ASPAC to inbound some full court pressure coming from Interclub and already picking up the steal as Silva and Mercura force the error. The offensive foul will go against Silva. Referee says she pushed off. It'll be Joseph to inbound for ASPAC. Goes into the hands of Onaibe. She's guarded by Silva. 
Ball to the corner. Joseph looking to drive. Joseph now finds Diara, who hands it back. Joseph is doubled. Diara with a great pass to the inside. Keita got blocked. And now Interclub coming the other way quickly. And Gabriel gets the layup to go. After a bit of a slow scoring start for Inter in this quarter. They're now up to nine points on the Joseph. Kicks it out. Onaibe has it. Onaibe driving inside up against Silva. Silva gets the rebound. It's a great battle to watch between Onaibe and Silva. On the inside, Gabriel kicks out. And the three-point shot. Mikuro connects from deep. Joseph. Top of the key to Onaibe. Inside, Keita tries to put it up. Possession goes the way of Interclub off that miss. As Onaibe he hates the bench for A's PAC. She gets some rest. And it'll be Diara who checks back into the game. Matike, top of the key. Kicks out to Silva off the drive. Now in the middle, strong take. Mukuro couldn't get it to go. Abel. Oh, inside, Keita couldn't finish off the, off the Keita pass, excuse me. It was Diara who couldn't finish. It'll be Silva to inbound as the ball goes the other way. Silva to Mukuro. Now on the inside, Matikir around the defender, gets the bucket. Diara bringing the ball up. Hand off to Joseph. On the outside, long range shot. Couldn't knock it down. And the long rebound means transition play for Interclub, but the layup on the other end is missed. Martekt couldn't get it to go, and there will be a foul that goes against Inter. Just 28 seconds left here in the first half. It is a 25 point lead for Interclub of Angola. Joseph. And on the double team, referee calls a foul. The foul will go against Matiket. That'll be just her first personal. Team's third team foul. And with that pressure, it'll be a five-second violation. Interclub force another turnover. They'll have a chance to close out the half on this final possession. Silva gets the screen, finds the roller. And on the inside, Matikit couldn't finish. Rebound taken away by A's PAC and That'll bring us to half time. At the end of 20 minutes of play, it's Interclub. 
who have 38 to the 13 of ASPAC.
coming into the second half. It's a 15-point lead for Interclub. Matikit leads all scorers. She has 13. And on the first possession, they turn it over. Malagi couldn't hold on. Onaibe finds Diara. Diara with the mid-range jumper. That's no good. Lucas comes in with the rebound. Cross-court fast to J Johnson. Johnson now inside to Malagi. Malagi puts it up and in. It's Malagi's first field goal in the game. Some fairly barren scoring on the side of ASPAC so far. Abel has five, Diara has four, and Onaibe and Oseni have two apiece. Slight delay in play here. And looks like it'll be a timeout. Early timeout here in the second half. It'll be A's PAC ball. And Interclub coming out in a full court press now. Onaibe. Pushing the ball down the floor, draws the foul. The foul will go against Lusati. That'll be her first personal. So Babe on the inbound, finds Onaibe. Onaibe dribbles baseline, spins, goes around through two defenders, gets it to go. Great offensive play for Onaibe. Malagi on the other end, couldn't finish. Rebound the way of ASPAC. Onaibe finds Sobabe. Sobabe puts it up and that's good. Two quick buckets out the timeout for ASPAC. Ball to the corner. Drive inside. Strong take. Lusati almost loses it on the pass, however. Referee says last touch A is PAC, and so it'll stay. They go inside to Manuel. Now on the drive. Strong take. Lusati gets it to go. Onaibe up against Manuel. 
Oh, Naibe tries to put it up. Manuel with the block. Lucas. Sizing up the defense. Lucas, step back, jumper. Rattles out. And Malagi on the follow. Can't get it to go, but she'll draw the foul. Malagi hits the line. It'll be Malagi's second trip to the line. She has three points on the afternoon already. Was one of two from the free throw line. She's averaged about four points a game throughout the competition in 13 minutes of play. First free throw off the front of the rim. Can't make good on the second either. Manuel gets the extra possession for Inter. Lucas inside to Manuel. Kick back out. And Johnson tries to knock down the three. It's short though. Onaibe. Into the pick and roll. Onaibe will pull it up from three. Won't go. And now in the hands of Johnson. Johnson up against Joseph. Lucas finds the pass inside to Malagi. Malagi is fouled as she tries to go up. She'll hit the line once again. This time, the first free throw is good for Malagi. Perfect trip. She's two of two. Continuing with the second half, full court pressure. Oh, Inter. Onaibe on the drive. Onaibe tries to kick to Diara, but ball deflected out of bounds. It'll stay ASPAC ball. As Joseph inbounds. Onaibe. Out to Sobabe. Diara top of the key. So Babi pulls up the jumper right over the outstretched arm of Manuel. Inside to Manuel now on the other end. Manuel can't finish. Malagi gives them an extra possession. Lusati blocked as Oseni makes the great defensive play. Onaibe quickly the other way. Kicks it out and now Joseph. Joseph. Powers up and in. Johnson. Drives inside by Johnson. Kick out to Lucas. Lucas, three-point jumper. That won't go. Malagi. Try to get the rebound, but she's whistled for the foul. It'll be her second personal. Onaibe. Into the hands of Sobabe. Joseph gets the pick from Diara. Finds the shovel pass. That won't go. Last touch coming off Diara on that attempt to get the rebound. And so it'll head back the way of Inter. Johnson. Finds Lucas. Lucas 
Dumps it inside. Manuel doing work. Kicks it outside. Now Malagi from distance. That's no good. So Babe brings it quickly the other way. And Joseph attacking the paint strong. Draws the foul. Just two points in the game so far for Joseph. She's averaged 12 points a game. She's the second leading scorer for ASPAC. That, of course, behind Sobabe. Sobabe averages 18.7 points a game. She's got just four so far in this game. Joseph's first free throws in the game. Can't knock down the first. She does, however, knock down the second. Silva back on the floor, controlling the offense for Interclub. Matic get inside. Fantastic pass. Gets it to go. Joseph. Inside drive, or Naibe couldn't make. Manuel rebound. Lucas inside once again to Matikit. On the kick out. Three point shot won't go, but the follow. Manuel there to clean it up and put it back in. Joseph. Top of the key. Joseph looking to drive. Joseph. Kick out to Anaibe. Anaibe will put up the three-point shot. Nope. Won't go. Rebound in the hands of Manuel. She collects her 10th rebound in the game. Cross-court pass. Silva drives through the middle. Silva blocked. Joseph coming the other way. ASPAC tries to make the pass ahead to Anaibe. And Anaibe doesn't get there. Turnover number 14. Silver with the ball. They go inside now to Manuel. Manuel with the spin and the finish. Fancy footwork from Manuel. Joseph, ball moving around the perimeter for ASPAC. Joseph gets it back off the handoff. Looks to drive inside and there'll be a foul call away from the ball. The foul goes against Manuel. She picks up her third personal. Long range jumper won't go for Sobabe. Lucas. Inside Lucas with the pull up jumper. First points for Lucas in the game. It was a slow offensive start for her as she picks up the steal. Find Silva. And now, top of the key in the hands of Manuel. Out to the corner. Three-point shot is no good. Didn't hit, but before that, the referee whistles the travel on Makuro. It's been a quiet afternoon for Makuro so far. She's got to seven. Joseph. Finds Sobabe. Sobabe double team. Sobabe gets around the double team. Puts up the three. That won't go. Rebound stays by Keita. Keita finds Joseph. 
And now Ali on the pull-up jumper. That hits back iron. Ball tipped to Manuel. Manuel passes inside to the cutter. And Pascual couldn't hold on to that pass. And now, after that, she draws, she commits the foul as well. It'll be Pascal's first personal. It is the team's fifth foul of the quarter. And so it'll be free throws that are coming up for Keita. First free throw rattles out. And it is a 30-point lead here for Inter as Keita knocks down the second of the free throws. Silva. Into the hands of Matiket. Now the dribble handle. Mikuro looking to attack Joseph. Oh, finds the cutting. Gold bold. And gold bold fouled at the rim. It was great vision from Mikuro. To find gold bold on the baseline. First free throw comes off the front of the room. Goldbud can't knock it down, and that'll be an empty trip for her. Matikit gives it back to Inter. On the drive, Makuro whistled for another travel. And it's turnover number 13 into club. Turning it over more than usual. Abel on the double team tries to get the pass out. It's taken away. Now Silva in transition. Fantastic take by Pascual. Can't make, but she is fouled. Foul goes against Keita. It'll be Keita's third personal. She's got to be careful here. Pascual gets her first point from the free throw line. Second free throw is good as well. As Keita heads to the bench now. Ball handed off to Joseph. Joseph double teamed, almost loses it. ASPAC managed to hold on. Joseph now inside. Joseph and one. No, in fact, it'll not. The bucket will not count. There was a travel violation on that whistle. Interclub with the largest lead of the game at 31. Silva drives through the middle, draws the foul. We've seen a lot more fouls here in the second in the second half. Silva's first trip to the line. She's been scoreless here. 
makes it. She averages seven points a game coming in. Shoots it at 67% from the free throw line. Misses on her second. Oh, and it is a tussle for the rebound. Bodies getting on the floor and Silva gets to it first. Long range jumper. Pascal knocks it down. Joseph. Ball inside now. Going around the defender. Sumako couldn't get that to go. Less than a minute remaining in the third. Baseline drive. Pusco. Couldn't finish. And on the follow. Matiket gets the roll. Joseph. Gets the pass out. And now. Abel working inside. Abel goes by the defense. Couldn't finish, however, and Goldbolt brings it the other way. Pasco with a transition three. That rattles out. And now just a couple of seconds left to wrap up the end of the third. Pasco will take another, and it's short. And at the end of the third quarter, Interclub continue to enjoy a lead. It's 59 to 23. It's a 36-point lead for Interclub coming into the fourth and final quarter. So Babe with the ball for A's PAC. Joseph puts it inside to Somakao. Somako spinning, wheeling, dealing, couldn't finish. Referee says last touch of gold ball. And so possession will remain with ASPAC. Joseph looks to drive baseline, pulls up the jumper, hits front side of the room, in fact. It's going the way of Inter now. Silva. Gives it up, gets it back, does Silva. Now Godbold. Godbold with the drive. Couldn't get the ball to drop, but she'll head to the line. Godbold was empty on her first trip to the line. She now has another opportunity. 
came into the game not having missed a free throw and now has missed two. This time she connects on the first. Second one coming up. Hits back iron on the second. Rebound stays with Inter. Cross court part. Pascal drives baseline. Pascal puts it up. She's blocked. Guard bolt on the follow. Heads right back to the free throw line. First free throw is good from Godbolt. She gets the second to go as well. Joseph gives it up to Onaibe. Onaibe finds a baseline cutter. Abel going to work. She's doubled. Oh, and Godbold just grabs it away. Muscles her off the ball. Silva tries to get it inside. It was a good seal from Gabriel, but the pass just a little too high. Joseph heads to the bench for ace PAC as they look to move it up the floor so Makua tries to get it back to Onabe but turns it over and they've now turned it over 19 times in the game Silva drives inside strong take Silva too hard off the glass now Onaibe works inside oh stunning pass from Onaibe Silva into the hands of Mateus They post up Goldbold. Works on the baseline. Couldn't get it to go. Tips the rebound to Onaibe. Onaibe quickly down the floor. Puts up the long floater. That's no good. Godbold brings it down. She's got five rebounds already, does Godbold. Player down on the floor for Interclub. On the other end, Diara checks back in. And Abel heads to the bench.
Bo back in play now. Silva back on her feet. Long range jumper. Checking into the game in an instant three. As we see the team stop. Still attending to Silva there. Onaibe. Inside, Samako. Johnson will bring it up for Inter. Gabriel looks to drive on the kick out. Gabriel misses but draws the foul and so Gabriel will head to the line. It'll be her first trip to the line today. She hasn't missed a free throw yet in the competition. She's been 100% from charity stripe. First free throw off the front of the rim. She makes on the second, gets it to go. Gabriel now has five points. Onaibe. Almost has the ball taken away. As Mateis harasses her on defense. Onaibe with the spin goes around the body of Goldbold. And she's fouled. Crafty going to the rim as Onaibe. Knocks down the first of her free throws. Just five points so far in the afternoon for Onaibe. As she knocks down the second perfect trip for her. Johnson. Harassed by the defense. Now Pasco. Ball coming down the floor for ASPAC. Off the turnover, possession heads back the way of Inter in the hands of Johnson. Long range jumper, it's good. Mateis knocks down another from beyond the arc. On the inside, the drive. Samako couldn't finish. Mateis rebound. Johnson passes the ball ahead. On the drive, Pascal couldn't get it to go. And it's Diara who gets it for his PS. And quickly down the floor, Onaibe gets the lane to go. She's getting rolling now. Johnson. Finding Pasco into the pick and roll. Pasco gives it up. Gabriel working inside. Didn't get the roll. And so Diara getting the rebound. 
Unai Bey. Drives all the way inside into the body of Godbold. And Godbold picks up her second foul. Sends Onebe to the line. Onebe misses on the first of her free throws this time. Makes good on the second. Johnson. The foul will go against Onaibe. That'll be just her first personal. It'll be a side ball inbound for Interclub. Pascal will take it into the hands of Johnson. Godbold sets the screen. Johnson puts up the shot and it's short. Looked like Diara got a touch there. Now Mateus hits front iron. Godbold gives it up and Gabriel with the finish. Great little handoff pass there from Goldbold. Double team. The full court pressure intensifying. For Interclub, Onaibe finds on the baseline and it's a quick two. Mateus controls into the hands of Johnson now. Pick and roll with Gabriel Johnson, time and space, pulls it up and it'll be a long two. Onaibe guarded by Johnson. Passes out the double. Onaibe, one to beat. Drops it off to Diara. Diara can't finish. Onaibe on the follow. Couldn't get it to go either. Godbold ends up with it. Passes it way too far. And Gabriel doesn't manage to get there. So it'll be ASPAC. Getting the extra possession. Coaches beginning to empty their benches here as we go into the final four minutes of play. It's a 39 point lead for Inter. They've led by as many as 42. Diara working inside. Kicks, mid-range, jumpers, no good for Abel. Johnson. Now Pascal. Drive inside. Mateus couldn't get the pass to Gabriel. But Gabriel steals it back out of the hands of Diara. 12 steals for Inter. As the long range shot from Mateus doesn't go. Godbolt got the rebound but passed it right into the hands of Joseph. Now Joseph bringing it the other way. Finds Joseph. Gets it back, drives inside and mid-range jumper. Abel couldn't get it to go. All alone on the other end with plenty of time around the world she goes. Gabriel gets the transition layup. And we have a timeout here on the floor, just, just over two and a half minutes left to go.
ASPAC ball out the timeout. So Babe dribbling it down the floor. Kicks to the outside, finds Joseph. Joseph powering her way in. Couldn't get the layup to fall, but Joseph hits the line. It'll be just her second trip to the line. She's got three points on the afternoon, Joseph. And ASP. AC, we're always going to struggle if Joseph couldn't get going. They're missing those 12 points she's given them. Well, she's averaged throughout the competition. Makes good on the second of her two free throws. Remains at 50% from the line. The pass from Johnson... just caught Lusati off guard and so they turn it over give it back to ASPAC so Babe to Johnson Johnson gets the pick from Diara kicks to the opposite side and now Abel working on the inside blocked Malagi two-handed block Mateus Inside, Malagi finds the trading gold bold. Unaibe into the hands of Johnson. Johnson driving through the middle of the key. Johnson draws the foul. It's Godbold who picks up her third personal and sends Joseph back to the line. First free throw, good for Joseph. Second, comes just off the front of the rim. Johnson controls. Into the pick and roll with Malagi. Mateus hands it back to Johnson now. Johnson drives middle. Pull up, jumper, that's no good. The other way, Onaibe makes the long pass. And Subabe works. Now Onaibe tries to get it out, has it taken away. As Lusati brings it down for Inter. Baseline drive, Mateus. Kicks it back out to Malagi. Malagi off the glass from the top of the key. Under a minute left to go here. Onaibe gets the pick from Diara. It's taken away by Godbold as she tries to go down inside the paint. Godbold, however, turns it over. On the pass, the attempted pass to Mateus. Onaibe. Just under 30 seconds to go here. And ASPAC will take time off the clock in the possession as they head to the end of the game. And Joseph tries to get to the bucket. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch was off Inter. Just six seconds in the game and for ASPAC, they'll walk away without a group stage win. Long shot to end the game. So Babe puts it up. It rattles in and out. And the referee is indicating there's in fact still three seconds left on the clock. And so Inter will have to inbound. 
Expect them to just dribble it out here as Johnson indeed just holds it for the remaining three seconds and it'll be another win for Interclub. They finish group stages three and one as they close out ASPAC 79 to 34.